video tutorial, I'll be talking to you about how to find the surface area of a triangular prism. So let's first take a look at just an understanding of what surface area means. So here we have two diagrams of triangular prisms. And prisms are named by the shape of their base. So both of these, there is a triangle that is colored in, in pink. And there's always going to be two bases to a prism. So the shape of this base is a triangle. And therefore, that's why these two prisms are called triangular prisms. Now, the surface area of a triangular prism is going to be the sum of all the sides of a triangular prism. Let's take a look at the formula. So our formula for the surface area of a triangular prism is SA equals 2 times capital B plus capital P times capital H. So let's look at what our variables represent. SA represents surface area. Capital B is the area of the triangular base. In a previous video tutorial, I had taught about the area of a triangle, which is base times height divided by two. Lowercase b is the base of the triangular base, so this side right here. h, lowercase h, is the height of the triangular base, which is right here. Finally, capital P is the perimeter of the triangular prism. So in your triangular base, when you add up all three sides, that will represent P perimeter. And capital H is the height of the triangular prism. So this length right here, how tall the triangular prism is, that will be capital H. Let's take a look at an example. So here's a diagram of a triangular prism. Let's recall the formula is 2 times capital B plus capital P times capital H. So let's look at our picture. We have two triangular bases, one in the front here and one towards the back. It kind of looks like a tent. So are you able to identify the base and the height of the triangular base? Let's see if you are correct. Your height is 2, which is this length right here. And your base is 3, which is this length right here. So in order to find out capital B, which is the area of the triangular base, we simply follow the formula for the area of a triangle. 1 half times base times height, and that will give us 3. Another thing we have to find out is how tall is your triangular base? That would be this length right here, 4. That is the height of your triangular prism. Capital P. That is the perimeter of your triangular base. Now we know this side is 3. However, in this picture, we have some extra red hash marks. In case you don't know what that means, the diagram is trying to tell you that this side is congruent, which is the same as this side right here. If you look towards the back of the prism, we know this length, which is 2.5 centimeters. So therefore, this length is also 2.5 centimeters, as well as this length. So now we have all three sides to find our perimeter, and that would be 8. So now we're going to take this formula and replace our values. Our base of the triangular base is 3. Our perimeter of the triangular base is 8. And the height of the triangular prism is 4. Do some simple calculations, and your surface area will be 38 centimeters squared. Hope that was helpful.